Okay, people, finding the centre of mass. Firstly, of a nice regularly shaped object. This is really simple. All we have to do is we use a ruler to draw nice straight lines across the lines of symmetry of the object. And with a regularly shaped object, like a rectangle or a triangular, tri uh, triangle, sorry, where those lines meet is the centre of mass. See? Easy. So you're going to do that with a couple of regularly shaped objects and want them stuck in your books with instructions of how to find the centre of mass down next to them. OK, things get a little bit more complicated when we have irregularly shaped objects like this one. So it's a little bit more difficult because we can't find the lines of symmetry to draw. And so we use a slightly different technique to find the centre of mass. The first thing you do is you pick two points around the edges of the object and you're going to use a hole punch to make holes. The holes will need to be bigger than a single hole punch hole. So you sort of hole punch it repeatedly so you've got a nice big hole in those, those parts. Then you're going to need a clamp stand. I have one already prepared. And you're not going to use the clamp on the clamp stand, you're going to use the other end. And you can hang your irregularly shaped object from the other end of the clamp. Now the reason the holes have to be nice and big is because you want that object to hang really freely. You do not want it to get stuck or to be jammed because the hole you've made is too small. So we've got to make sure that it is free to swing. Once you've hung that onto your clamp stand, you then need a plumb line, which is quite simply a mass on the end of a string. And we hang that in front of the object. Now, if you've got some string, we need to make sure that's right out of the way, so we can hang that over the back. So now we've got our irregularly shaped object, and we've got a plumb line. The brilliant thing about the plumb line is it will hang perfectly vertically, so you've got to get that nice and steady, and then you're going to mark two points, because what, what you want to do, you're going to draw a line where the plumb line was, because obviously it's very difficult to do that whilst it's hanging on the clamp stand, so what we do is we just mark a couple of points where the plumb line is. So we can mark a point near the bottom, and we can mark a point near the top, and then we take it off, and we repeat the process for the second hole that you've made in the object. So we hang it freely again, you notice it's swinging nice and easily. We hang our plumb line, get a bit of string out of the way, and again, we get the plumb line steady, and we mark two points. One at the bottom and one, oh this is the difficult bit, and one at the top where it's hanging from. Then, take the object off there, back to your desk, and this time rather than drawing in the lines of symmetry, we draw the lines that show where the plumb line was hanging and where those lines meet is your centre of mass. And again, this, because this is slightly more difficult, I would like every person in the group to have an irregularly shaped object. I want you to find the mass and I want the uh, object then stuck in your book with instructions written down next to it. Okay, off you go.